Okay, so here's how this works. We have a shader that does shadow casting. We have another shader <clears throat> that does vertex-based lighting. Our bushes are using vertex-based light because the Vita is really slow at lighting pixel-lit semi-transparent surfaces like this. Our shadow caster is using pixel lighting, otherwise the shadows wouldn't be drawn. Vertex lit objects don't cast shadows, so we have to cheat to get around it. So we have two objects. We have our bush, and we have our duplicate of the bush, which exists solely for the shadow casting. If we turn this bush off, we can see that our shadows are being cast by our shadow casting object. We turn that off we have no more shadows so how this works is like this we have two lights on the character one is our pixel light that pixel light set to important and it has a calling mask on it that calls out foliage so that it's not pixel lighting our transparent foliage textures we then have a duplicate of that light its render mode is set to not important so that it's vertex lit and its calling mask is set to foliage only, so the only thing that is affected by that light is our foliage. Now, for all of this work, all of our branches and leaves on the foliage have to be set to the foliage layer. That way, those branches and leaves are only lit by the vertex light. And on our shadow casting object, we set it to the default layer and we put our shadow only shader on that object. So essentially what we have is one version of the bush that's being drawn for the vertex lighting and another invisible version of the bush that's being drawn to only cast shadows. And then we're using both of those lights in conjunction with each other so that it completes the effect.